get ready for the next idiotic battleground. Leftist activists are now targeting lawnmowers. That's right, lawnmowers are now a problem. I mean, again, they want total control. This is about uh, 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 micromanaging and telling people what they can and can't do. Uh, uh, government need to stay out of it. They need to stay out of this stuff altogether. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. and Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also um, a link to my Instagram and my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts. Also, check out my new website, jjthepsychotherapist.com, where I put out um, tons of news throughout the day to keep you informed. All right, let's talk about this news. Another day, another empty claim that we need to alter our lifestyles to appease the power mad brokers, brokers of this country. The latest uh, hectoring harbinger is, is that our landscaping equipment is murdering the planet. So changes need to be uh, enforced. This is what the overeducated and undereemployed generations have wrought the constant grazing for the next offense that needs to be addressed. I mean, just pure ridiculousness. USA Today delivers this latest solution to a wholly manufactured problem, claiming that the lawnmower and the leaf blowers used by your lawn service are the most pernicious producers of deadly emissions, saying, quote, regulators and clean air advocates are increasingly eyeing the pollution emitted by small gasoline engines. So get ready for the hyperbolic, uber idiotic proclama uh, proclamations with high price solutions attached. Of course, they're gonna tack up, watch, watch they try to tax you now to mow your own lawn. Well, while many critics first attack the small engines for the noise they make, experts say these small two stroke engines release shockingly large amounts of pollution. Two problems that modern and increasingly affordable electric powered equipment solves. Advocates say that in addition to climate changing emissions released by the engines, workers are exposed directly to their exhaust and rarely wear filters to protect their lungs. Then, as if <laughs> they have not already granted us permission to stop listening to these so-called experts, Get a load of this uh, uh, fertilizer quality claim that is made to justify their outrage. They say environmentalists say using a commercial gas leaf blower for an hour produces emissions equal to driving from Denver to Los Angeles. <laughs> Notice they say environmentalists. They don't cite any studies or anything like that. They, uh, what, so where did this information come from? Environmentalists. <laughs> Yes, environmentalists say quite a lot of things, and if they would just shut up about CO2 emissions, j just might plunge um, perniciously. So who exactly is going to buy that the global impact of a drive across uh, across country is exceeded by me running my, my uh, 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 <laughs> gas lawnmower for an hour? Who believes that? This is the kind of hysteria that needs to be pointed out and then laughed at loudly. We need to make fun of them. We need to uh, ridicule them because this is idiocracy. And then, and then they, these are the same ones that tell you trust the science, but then don't produce any, any uh, citations so, to the so-called science. But of course, nestled deep under a pile of press release mulch in the article comes some of the glaring facts. While touting extensively the merits of lithium-powered lawn care, as a more sustainable alternative, there is this reality. Because <laughs> they totally ignore what, li what the lithium comes from and what it does to the environment. But critics say battery-powered machines aren't as strong as ga gas-powered ones. What do you mean critics say? It's the truth. It's a fact. You don't have to be a critic to acknowledge that fact. And then they go on to say, and some people also worry about having to buy new equipment, which is generally more expensive. Someone starting a small landscaping business could buy the necessary gas-powered equipment for about $6,000, but electric equivalents could cost three times that. That is not generally more expensive. It is 300, that's a 300% increase. So if you're forcing lawn care companies to transition to battery-powered equipment, 
it will translate to bills for homeowners spiking three times higher. Because they're going to, of course, the landscape is going to pass that buck on to the homeowner. As usual, environmental profits are free and loose with solutions as they are essentially spending other people's money. This is also making a flower bed for the next siege in the culture wars as an impending law, um, lawnmower debate is shaping up to become the next flashpoint in the nationwide divide. As we have seen over the years, a cycle has developed where a new mandate comes down. There is a pushback from the sinistry and then the loud reaction is scorned by lawmakers and the press as a made up controversy by those on the right. We have um, seen this consistently as the reaction to a proposed regulation is reframed as being a manufactured culture war topic by conservatives. Look at how they were with claims of critical race theory. <laughs> and is, is not taught in school. They try to say it's not taught in schools and in complaints and complain about, and now they're complaining about blocking uh, critical race theory. So which one is it? Is it not being taught in schools or, or, or are you guys trying to stop us from um, banning a uh, 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 critical race theory? See, you can't, they, they, they talk out of the side of their mouths. But note the defense that drag shows have been around for generations, but Republicans are now trying to ban them. Earlier this year, conservatives were accused of creating gas stove controversy, yet CRT has been pushed in schools. Drag shows are new uh, are newly sexualizing children at performances. Uh, um, um, performances and the Biden administration first proposed eliminating propane ovens in homes. Maybe hold this USA Today article in a folder so when you are told no one demands that you get rid of your your Toro in the shed, you can pull it out and show them this is uh, uh, not a manufactured controversy. It will be tough to blame conservatives for starting a new culture war when it has been declared first in the press. The newly formed conflict is presented right there in the opening sentences. They say, uh, your lawnmower may be the next climate change battleground. They admit it. And parks and playgrounds. So they, they admit it. Um, so, but watch they try to, it's going to be a backlash like it always is. They're going to try to pull back like they always do and say, oh, we, we never talk about banning lawnmowers. We never talk about people giving up their gas power lawnmowers. Watch, watch it happen. And, um, remember you heard it first here, but, um, let me know what you think. Leave the comments down below, like, share, and subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news and JJ, um, the psychotherapist.com until next time. Peace. Oh,